All right, welcome to Lunch Therapy. Woo! It's Barefoot Tuesday. I gotta take off my shoes, because for some reason, not following the protocol. Might be because I have gotten very cocky, because I am now friends with the police. Yes, there I am with the entire Los Angeles Police Department up there at Griffith Park. Super nice people, I'm super gracious people. Um, I don't know why there's a Brinks truck in the background. I guess maybe I don't know, somebody brought their money. Somebody didn't want to like go away from their money so they, and they wanted to see the eclipse so they just brought it with them. And they brought the whole police department to, it doesn't make sense really. I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, we got some fun stuff coming up in the show today. I've got Mike Perkins here in the house, in the house. So happy to have him here. He's the host of Another Late Show tonight and also a hilarious comedian that you can see at Flappers and you can see him all over town, of course, as they say. General Cinema's corpor corporation logo. Yeah, when I was a youngster, they used to play that before every movie when you went to the General Cinema's. And uh, I, I just, whenever I hear it, I get excited, you know. Holy Claster fan. Maybe Claster fan has some questions for us and quiz portion of the show at the end. Hoy Todd Lee, wasn't the rapture fun? I love a good rapture party. It, it was kind of, it was a kind of a non-event here in LA. You'll see, I did stand-up comedy through the entire eclipse. And uh, it is, um, it looks like any other day. <laughs> yeah, barefoot in it. I gotta take my socks off too. Hoy Paige Depot. Actually, consider and great to see you, Paige, all the way from, I don't know, where are you living now? Texas? Something like that. Paige is a longtime viewer of the show. Great to have you here. She keyed us, cued us, clued us in on a song by Trish King that we're going to play that has to do with the eclipse. But now, a word from our sponsor. What happens when you breathe on a mirror? You can actually see your breath. But you cannot see whether it's fresh and clean and pleasing to other people. If you want to feel safe, use Micron. I want to feel Micron safe. Micron Oral Antiseptic, New the Jersey. most effective yes. mouthwash you can buy to stop bad breath germs. Let's say these G's are the germs, okay. breeding in your mouth and throat. Mm. Other mouthwashes Tasty. reduce the number of germs, but moments later, new ones start growing back to threaten your breath. Oh my gosh. Micron is different. It Michael. not only kills germs on contact, but it keeps the number of germs much lower, much longer. It's been proved more effective hours longer than any other mouthwash. I don't know. So you like can feel product. safer hours longer with Johnson & Johnson's new Blue Micron. Most of... Of a modem. Thank God we're here. I got my P22 shirt on that I wore up at the uh, Griffith Park the other day. I am out here in front of the Hollywood sign and I'm going to bring on entertainment, entertainer of the year. Uh, well, not yet, but soon, Mike Perkins. <laughs> Mike Grin. Series of tubes, and here he is. He's coming, and where is he? Where is he? Right is that him on the beach? I don't know where he is. You're right there. Oh, oh, there he is. Ah, oh, yes. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, I like your sorry, background. Sorry, I'm in. I yeah. was in one of these drums you with you? this guy, and he told me to get out of the drum so he could drum. Wow, that's cool. Have you, have you been uh, getting small? Do you get small? Yeah, I, yeah. I get pretty small. You get right into the drum. I get, I just tuck myself in. Tuck in there. <laughs> I wish I, I could get rid of my background so it looks like I'm actually in the drum, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> it looks cool though. Your background looks like it's part of it, you know? It does look, it does look yeah. That, the it lights. totally does. Yeah. Are you watching the uh, Steve Martin 
documentary. Um, speaking of getting small, have you seen it? No, I want to see it, man. It's on my it's on my list. You gotta see it, man. It's really good. I haven't seen the whole thing. It's in two parts. It's really fun. Hell yeah. It's on. Is it on Netflix? It is on right? Apple. Apple. Oh, that's right. I know Only I seen the it. best for Steve. I want to watch it. Yeah. I've been I've been wrapped up on that Nickelodeon documentary, bro. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's some crazy shit, huh? There's another oh, one. My oh god. my god. Yeah, I know. You know. I already watched it. It dropped on Sunday, episode five. <laughs> I haven't seen yeah. the episode five. When um, okay. when I was doing Better Off Dead week, I was trying uh-huh. to get a hold of that guy. And now, um, now I would be a little concerned because <laughs> he was in Better Off Dead. Oh. They don't mention it, but the guy, you know, the oh, yeah. Nickelodeon guy that got himself in trouble there uh, was a little handsy or whatever. Oh, Dan Schneider? Dan Schneider, yeah. Dan Schneider. <laughs> a little handsy. You know, Dan Hansy Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I was trying to get him on the show um, because we were having people from Better Off Dead, and I love the movie Better Off Dead, and he plays uh, the. Uh, you know why he said no to you, though? Why? Because you weren't 16 years old. I was too old. <laughs> I guess that was it. Well, there was a part in it. All right, too soon? I was, yeah, really. It's way, well, I mean, they're making a whole thing about it. I don't know. I'm just yeah. going by what they say. But I remember thinking, you know, that something was weird going on. Um, Ricky. Ricky was the name of the guy he played. And there was a moment where he was on the dance floor. He laid face down on the dance floor. He'd like jumped and went face down. And that was around the same time that I invented planking. I don't know if you know, I'm the inventor of planking. And um, I was taking your planking. Yeah, and so we had we actually had some discussion of whether we got planking, what we called face dancing, from that movie, or whether we came up with it before the movie. And it turned out we came up with it before the movie. But then I had Diane Franklin on, who was the um, French exchange student in Better Off Dead. And she uh-huh. said that they uh, just spontaneously came up with that in the moment. So there yeah, you go. Yeah, right. They stole yeah, it from like, you. I'm like, <laughs> come on. Give me a we break. We spontaneously stole that from you. <laughs> Give me a break. Background is cool. This background, is, of course, is Healing Vibrations Eclipse Sound Bath for the eclipse that happened yesterday. Pam Palmieri, what happened? You went out to the eclipse, right? But you couldn't get to the total eclipse of the sun. Diane Franklin was great in the film. She was great. Have you seen Better Off Dead? Perfect. Me? No. Uh, you got to see that, too. God, you're so behind, man. You haven't seen the Steve my, Martin my, thing? My camera's lagging, too. Hold Your on, camera's behind. Camera. I like you got a good <laughs> smile, though. At least you're not making a weird face. It looks like I'm better off dead. <laughs> you're better off dead. <laughs> Shit. Come on. It's more like Weekend oh. at Perky, Perkins. Weekend at Perky's. Hi, Mike. Hi, Joel. Hi, Boney. Boney says hi, Howard. Oh, Am I back? back. Oh, I'm back. Totally All right, I'm back. back. Yes, and we We're also back, had baby. Amanda Wiss on the show. She was fantastic, too. Um, and we had to get more, do more of that where we have like a, a theme for the week and we bring on people from different things. Holy Mike it. says You had a great, you know, we, we talked, you had a great episode on, um, on Friday when Michael Jammin. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that good? A great one. It's you a know, great we, one, man. Great interview. Thanks. I appreciate that. I was so excited to get him. Uh, Mike Knox had recommended him. But then I saw he was like all over the internet, you know, like in Instagram and everywhere. And he's very popular. And I thought, well, uh, if I slide into his Instagram, this is the new thing I'm saying, slide into his DMs. You're going to slide into the DMs, baby. I slide into his DMs. I thought he wasn't going to respond to me. But you know what? He was like, let's do this thing. And, I love uh, it. I think he had a lot of great information. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a great interview, man. You're, you know. Thanks. You're I appreciate good, it. You're a good host, good interviewer. It was great. I, I, had, I really enjoyed it. You know you know why I'm a good host? Because I'm, I want to know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to know. <laughs> yeah. I got stuff to learn for these people. And I figure it's my, uh, it's my duty to get us the information we need, you know, to get to the next level. Yeah. Sometimes the next level is just listening to sound baths. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, Gunnell. Hi, Gunnell. Hi. Hi. Look at all this snow. Let's see. Do you know the street value of this powder? Oh, go fast that way and then turn. That's that's from Better Off Dead. They were up on the... Oh, okay. Remember, I don't... I mean, you probably don't know this guy, but there was a guy that we used to call Booger. And he was um, 
because he was Booger in uh, Revenge of the Nerds, I think. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah. You know that guy? I can't think of his yeah. name right now. But anyway, he was wore a big top hat. They were on the slopes. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. There's top hats in it. Yeah. Always good when there are top hats. Nerds Page. love wearing top hats. Oh, man. Anywhere they it. go. I, I love it, too. I might have love one around town. here somewhere, you know? Um, Paige says, I, I loving the Paige sound. Paige something. Is she from New Jersey? She's from New Jersey, yeah. New Jersey in the house. Oh, Paige DePoe, baby. Yeah, it's cool. Jersey, up in the house. I'm I from like Jersey, it. too. I like Thanks a couple for watching. of Jerseys. There's a lot of Jersey people in the entertainment industry, right? Yeah. Do you we see had to infiltrate. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Host with the most. Rex Sykes is here. Rex Sykes is amazing Rex. speaker and actor. I mean, he was just, apparently he was doing some top secret commercial recently. I don't want to give away any secrets, but we're going to see, see more of him. Can't say slide into DMs on Nickelodeon anymore. <laughs> That's <just> totally. Lee. <laughs> No, they slime into the DMs. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I want my $2. That's the other. You can't go around saying I want my $2 because you don't know where it comes from. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, what's happening? That's some serious applause. All right. Written by Murphy is here. Joel reveals his nerd roots. Top head hat cred. Yeah. I'm not afraid to wear go. a top hat. I am not afraid. <laughs> I tip my top hat to you, sir. <laughs> Rex Sykes says, you mean Joyzy? Yeah, we mean Joyzy. Joyzy. Okay, so now hey. pa Paige turned me on to this thing. Trish King, she wrote a song about the eclipse. So we have healing vibrations with the eclipse here. And now we're going to have, I know the eclipse was yesterday, but it's just so fresh. And it's not coming yeah. around again till 2045 so we better get into our eclipse. wow that long wow oh, shit. yeah that's depressing 2045 yeah. i think i'm busy that day too so that sucks oh man yeah me too i got it on my calendar <laughs> i gotta get my uh teeth cleaned yeah yeah <laughs> all right let's do cluster fan also from new jersey all yeah right. also from new jersey i'm telling you everybody's from new jersey in this in this town well he's in florida so okay here's the song some may never see another in their lifetime The time is now, that's what they say So enjoy these moments on our timeline Clear your mind along the way Cause there's a little piece of heaven So Trish is a to behold in um, Maine A human connection She has her own channel all the Beautiful voice. Yeah, she has an incredible voice. She's, she sings all the great hits and she writes her own. As you can all hear. have this one thing in common. A story to be told. Yeah, so that's cool. So go to her channel, Trish King Music, and check it out. Okay, now we're going to check out this. Thanks, Paige, for turning us on to that. Um, here we have, right now, for your viewing pleasure, penguins eating fish. This is really cool. <laughs> this is the Oregon, <laughs> Oregon Zoo. You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look at the sound that they make. I'm going to crank it. Up. <laughs> Penguins, dude. They're the best, aren't they? Oh my god. They eat the whole thing. Look at this. Look at this. They don't even chew. Yeah, they just swallow the they thing. They just swallow the thing whole. Oh How does that work? How did what happens inside these the fish is like a quarter of the size of the penguin at least. It seems like it's still alive in there too. Oh <laughs> Swimming god. around its stomach. It's nuts. Trish sounds like Stevie Nicks. Beautiful voice. She does. She has a beautiful voice. Yeah. She does a lot of covers on there too. Check it out. She does, goes live and just like people suggest stuff and she just boom, you know. It's amazing. That's awesome. We're gonna Shout do out Trish. we're gonna do some um, stand up uh, trash panda comedy and Perk is gonna get in the comedy trash panda comedy room and just yeah. roast us. It's gonna be good. Uh, let's see what Paige says. You're welcome. P.S. 
in Ocean County. Ocean County, that's where you are. Do you know Ocean County? Um, is that, well, I know like Atlantic County, like Atlantic City. Huh. Ocean County, is that Ocean City? No. Hey, well, you know, have you ever played Atlantic City? I have. Oh, you have, haven't you? I saw that somewhere. What was that like? Yeah. Oh, it was incredible. That was my first, um, I opened up for Brian McDaniel. Um, shout out Brian McDaniel. Sports and a half, baby, on my Sports show. and a half, yeah. Um, and this is like 20, 2016, 2017. It was the first time I ever did stand up back home, too. So oh, we did cool. like a couple shows in Philly, a couple shows in Atlantic City. But it was so surreal because it was like we were at Tropicana and it was just like, I don't know, it was surreal to do a show in Atlantic City. Show I'm like, business, I'm not, baby. I'm like Sinatra used to do shows in Atlantic yeah. City and now I'm doing it, you know? So it's like, so cool. it was really fun. It was really cool. Did you like it the was, way uh, that we had ASMR while you were talking about that too? I, mean, I know, movie. I liked that. <laughs> yeah. This looks this like Nickelodeon much... ASMR. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's backwards. I used to love that stuff. The GAC, remember GAC? No, what's that? Is that like slime? Yeah, GAC was, it was, it, it would like fart and stuff in your hand. Oh it was man, like... that must be like the slime. We used to have this thing called slime. Yeah. It came in that garbage can and you, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This was like it would come. It would come in like a I don't know, like a misshaped thing. But you take it out and it was like putty. But if you squeeze it different ways, it farts. You know? <laughs> it was cool. Yeah, ours did too. Uh, yeah. Ocean County, directly south of Monmouth County, where I'm from. Oh. Okay. All right. Cluster fan. You're North North Jersey, baby. I love it. I'm Gack. South Jersey guy. Pages Gack. Had yeah, some Gack, Gack too. Gack. Gack was a slime Gack. ripoff. I tell you. Totally. There was also foam and smud. I remember foam. Really? Remember that? That was a weird one. That was like a like a neon one. It was like, oh, here's the foam. Okay, one more thing just for reviewing pleasure. How not to land an orbital rocket booster. This is fun. This is um, okay. SpaceX trying to land when they first were putting rockets in space. This is them trying to land. Did people die? Nobody died. Nobody said these things. I can't oh, okay. even play oh music. great. I can't play that music because, you know, I don't know, something terrible will happen to me. So <laughs> yes. I'll just play underwater sounds, maybe. So nobody's in these ships. Okay, we need to No, nobody's in. Yeah, don't okay, worry. Yeah, don't worry about the people. <laughs> We're like, ah, ha, ha, look at them dying. <laughs> <laughs> look at them exploding. Anyway, we, just, no. we just seen Gak and Slime farting. Here's a couple of people <laughs> dying in a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no, pe no people were harmed. Just oh good old God. fun. Good old fun. It's really fun to watch. Blasting. It because is cool it's, stuff, yeah. It's fun to watch our tax dollars um, go into the sea. <laughs> Just crumble and explode <laughs> like that. <laughs> I mean, we might as well get our money's worth. Yeah. We're giving this guy billions of dollars. Thanks for videoing it for us, guys. We want to see yeah, what thanks our, a lot. our money is burning away. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one. It's another oh, billion. There we go. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Wow. And they have little catchy phrases down at the bottom. Landing, Landing burn, burn. failed. They tell you what, what happened. Course of true love never did run smooth. <laughs> See? Jesus. Look at this one. They're making... Whoa. 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 No oh. way. It's... Why is it not bolted down? I don't know. Because it just landed they... from space. Just landed. Oh, it just landed space. right there. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Isn't that crazy? All right. Okay. I mean, oh I could watch God. that all day. I could... All day I could watch that. Um, you know, I've just recently, I don't know if you know of this guy i mean maybe this guy's super famous but i have recently really gotten into this guy named tim heidecker have you heard of this guy no, tim tim and eric was the show that they used to have. oh tim and, i remember tim and eric i, I think i've seen clips hilarious. of it and stuff i've been watching him he just did this uh bill maher spoof you know how bill uh -huh. maher's got that thing where he's got a podcast where he um interviews people and they and he's all drunk and smokes dope, uh, and it's like at his house or something like that. And it's really right. awkward. It's really awkward. Bill Maher. It's really awkward. Because what happens is, I think, I don't know, I think the people probably get the call that they're going to be on Bill Maher, and then next thing you know, they're like driving up to his house. Yeah. And, uh, and then he's in there just, you know, because he's gotten sort of like. He's like, do you want some pretzels? All right. <laughs> Or, and right. he's trying to push like you know alcohol on them and stuff, and they're like, ah, it's middle of the day. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, Dude, it's ten a.m. He's like, ah, I know, but it's you know. <laughs> Here you go. What do you mean? What do you what's? Anyway, yeah. he did a spoof of it. You got to check it out. Oh, that's funny. They did it. It was Fred Armiston, 
and him, and he did a like spoof interview. It's pretty fun. I love it. Um, let's see what folks are saying here. Looks like the model rocket launches I did as a kid. Yeah, I pff, I could never even make those model rockets. Me go boom. <laughs> And then Classer Fam is telling us all the television stations that Monmouth County gets. You know, I wanted to apologize to Classer Fan because he had a question at the end of the interview on Friday, and we never got back to him um, because okay. we were self-absorbed idiots. Classer Fan, what, what's that say? Monmouth County gets. Oh, here it is. Yeah, these are all the different. CBS th two, NBC two. Oh, okay. I go. guess Monmouth County doesn't have uh, streaming services. Is that they don't. No, they're, they, 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 just have, <laughs> they just have rabbit ears on the TV. We got CBS2 and NBC4. And we... Tinfoil and rabbit ears. I don't ears. know. We were, we were NBC10. That's what we were. Oh, you were. You mean yeah, you we had were. your own television station when you were a kid? Yeah, I was NBC10. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we just good. used to have GAC and, and rocket ship videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a great time to be a kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready for some Trash Panda Comedy Club? I'm ready, baby. Good chat room. Okay, what we're going to do is Trash Panda Comedy Club. Mike's going to get in the comedy room. Um, he's got six minutes for comedy, and there's like a little countdown. And if you want to like make comments, suggestions, whatever, he's just going to riff. And, uh, he, and, and if he like explodes, spontaneously explodes then uh, it'll, it'll be like... I think my whole set's going to be like one of those rocket ships. It'll be like SpaceX, yeah. All right, let's get into this thing. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at the Trash Panda Comedy Club. I've got this incredible guest. I don't know if we've ever had a guest in here. I, we might have had a couple early on, but I think this is the biggest comedy guest that we have ever had in the Trash Panda Comedy Club. I, he hosts the show, Another Late Show Tonight, and he has been seen headlining at Flappers. He's been seen in Atlantic City, the place where Sinatra used to play, and all over, all over the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome for our Trash Panda original, Mr. Mike Perkins. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Please, guys, sit down. Please, sit down. Please, don't. Please. I wish I did my hair a little better for this. Hey, how we doing? Hey. Can we clean me up a little bit? Yeah. I wish we could. Uh. Um, where's my stylist? Is she watching? <laughs> um, Joel, thanks for having me, man. This is Trash Trash Panda Comedy Club. Yeah. Um. For those that don't know me, uh, my name is Mike Perkins. I'm an East Coast Italian guy. How we feeling? How we doing? I'm, I already I'm, said I'm from Jersey, so give it up for Jersey, baby. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Um, I do do a live. Uh, I do do a live comedy talk show. Oh my God! Wait a minute! Um, wait a minute! What am I doing? I just. Uh, I just upstaged Oh you. no! Ah! <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Jumped in there. Hold on, let me. Let me, hold on, let me do that. Oh, shit! God, ah! Goodness, no! ah! Oh, my God! Anyway, guys, anybody else grew up on the East Coast? All right. Uh, sorry. What's I, happening? Sorry I burned your retina. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Um, but, uh, Joel, thanks you again for having me. Um, I assumed I was going to do one minute, so I'm just going to do a bunch of monologue jokes uh, right, that cool. I have right here. And I right hope on. you guys, uh, I hope you guys love them. These are ones that I've written um, over the past couple months or whatever, and uh, for my comedy talk show. So I hope you love them. Woo! Um, we have a, a a man in Florida crashed straight into a FedEx truck while receiving oral sex. Oh my god! Yeah, cops responded by saying it was truly a head-on collision. All right. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Maybe I shouldn't have said text on YouTube. It's fine. Um, uh, here's another one. Uh, a new study says that men who can perform at least 40 push-ups in one attempt are much less likely to suffer from heart disease within the next 10 years. Yeah. Well, I had a great run. I'm screwed. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> I'm trying over here. Boney's really trying with the sound effects. Uh, 
Uh, here's one. A growing number of men are undergoing a radical and expensive surgery to grow anywhere from three to six inches in height by having their legs broken. They're breaking their own legs in order to grow at least three to six inches. And uh, I got to tell you, I know a guy that is about to be the tallest guy in L.A. If he keeps sliding into my girlfriend's fucking DMs, I'll tell you that much. He's going to. Breaking news. That's my jersey. That's my jersey coming out, baby. We're going to break the legs. Yeah. Here's a. uh... I love the sound of it. Um. Here's a fun fact. Spicy is not a taste because it's not produced by the taste buds. It's actually a pain sensation. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So no wonder they call Latina spicy. All they do is cause you pain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shut, <laughs> got out my ex. Is she watching? Um, Here's one. Any any cat lovers in the YouTube? Give me some comments. Oh, I love cats. I love cats. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll comment. Um, owning a owning a cat can reduce your risk of heart attack or stroke by nearly thirty percent. Huh. Yeah, yeah. And dating a girl with a cat can increase your risk of heart attack by a hundred percent. So I'm allergic I'm allergic to cats, so that's why. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Joel. I know you love ouch, cats. Ouch. <laughs> I didn't expect you to say that you love cats. That took a dark turn. <laughs> um Here's a good one. Uh, morning people are less likely to suffer from depression than night owls. Oh. Ah. Yeah. And it was stated that night owls usually get depression from being with morning people. So ah, right. yeah. That happens. that happens to them. Uh, here we go. Uh, I don't want to do this one on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Your video will get flagged. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? Spicy food is the reason I know taste buds in two locations on my body. Oh, Ooh, Todd Lee. Yeah, Todd Lee. That's what Singers. I'm talking about. Spicy going in, spicy going out. He says. Hello. Hello. <laughs> spicy going in, spicy going out. And we were sponsored by Taco Bell. <laughs> um, a, a, hey, speaking of the violent stuff, uh, a pilot thought that his flight instructor was just pretending to take a nap when really he had a heart attack and died. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. It's crazy. And look, if you're looking for these same great deals on flights, go to spirit.com. <laughs> but up up. But up up. Um I like it. This was re- this was really cool. A man traveling solo visited all 12 Disney parks around the world in 12 days. Wow. That's so crazy. 12 Disney parks in 12 days. <sighs> yeah. Wow. And if you're th- and if you're thinking what he does for the rest of the year, he just keeps on being a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> He's a virgin, so surprising. He's violent, violent solo, baby. Oh, oh, is there a countdown? I just realized a countdown. Yeah, there's a countdown. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm giving you I'm the like, I got one minute left. All right, <laughs> hold on. Oh shit! Uh, God, what am I gonna say? Um, here we go. Uh, wait, where's one? Um, a 50-year-old. Uh, no, we don't want to do that one. Uh, I only got 58 <laughs> seconds. Oh um, no! Oh my God, uh, I could do my Bill Burr impression. Want me to do my Bill? Burr yeah, impression? that would be great. I love that. This is my impression of a uh, Bill Burr yeah. in The Mandalorian. All right. Okay. Holy shit! It's a fucking baby Yoda. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Though. What's up with these fucking Mandalorians, anyway? You know what I mean? Uh, we gotta so fly around good. the whole f- fucking Vader gets on the phone. He's like, "Hey, we need a fucking." Uh, I don't even fucking anyway. Listen to my podcast. It's the Monday morning, Thursday afternoon, fucking Friday. Whenever the fuck you're gonna listen to it. <laughs> that was my great. I love your Bill Thank Burr you. impression. Wow, I had Thanks, no man. idea, man. Um, I um, he was in the Mandalorian too. He really was. He was great, yeah. And my final one in South Carolina, two child care providers were taken into custody for allegedly running a child fight ring that included fourteen kids. Whoa. Yeah. And we, and we all know the first rule of Fight Club is finish your homework first. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, there you go. Everybody, congratulations to Mike Perkins for being the first guest Trash Panda Comedy Club comedian. Way to go. That was, that was super cool. Um, well, Thanks, you know, we'll, we'll work on our timer. What do you think about the timer? Was the timer fun? Uh. 
I didn't realize it until I had a minute and 20 seconds left. So I was like, oh, wait, I'm being timed. <laughs> what about the sound effects? Is that in the, does that get in the way or does it uh, enhance? It's because no, there's are... no audience. So it's kind of good, right? Sound effects are great. Yeah. All I right, like the sound cool. effects. Yeah. All right. I felt good. Thanks for having me, man. That was fun. You guys, give it back up for your host, Joel, <laughs> Trash Panda Comedy Club. All right. We're going to have more. Uh, Mike Perkins later on we're going to talk about uh, we're going to do wildlife therapy and then we're going to have a contest but first uh, uh, for the eclipse I went out to Griffith Park and I did some stand up and I got that for you here I provided, brought it back for you did a quick little edit on it it's called Moon Up get ready for some mooning at Griffith Park Thank you for having me here today at the uh, partial solar eclipse. Really great to be here. Um, this is one of my favorite venues, Griffith Park Observatory. I have on my P-22 shirt to commemorate the uh, mountain lion that used to live in these hills. I'm thinking that perhaps there might be some vampire streakers because, because what, you know, if you're a vampire, what better time to go out in the day, because you never get a chance to go out in the day, but what better time than a solar eclipse? So I think what happens is they find out exactly when the solar eclipse is gonna happen, and then they just, they just run across, run around, you know, enjoy as much as they can. I love how no and one then they get back in their coffee. acknowledges They're me. all looking up at It's you. like I'm not there. California, we're having a partial solar eclipse, so you might just see vampires, running but you'll be able to tell them because there'll be smoke coming off them because it's not completely dark they gotta run really fast before they spontaneously combust and get in their uh coffins somewhere over here is the eclipse but i'm not looking at it <laughs> don't look at it it's not even dark burn your retinas right out of your brain yep <laughs> so that's what they tell you i mean when i was a kid they were warning <laughs> that us guy that watching you way back know, then there was a solar eclipse so great. Where I was growing up there in Edmonds, Washington, and they had people come in every day for weeks telling us not to look at the sun, not to look at the sun. And of course, when you're a little kid, that makes you want to look at the sun. So I looked at the sun a couple of times. It's no big deal, let's face it. I mean, you shouldn't do it. It's definitely not worth it. But come on, there are people out there that have looked at the sun. But apparently, if you look at it for just even a second, you could burn your retina and you won't even know until like, the next day. I think humans are probably the only species that has to be told not to look at the sun. You don't see a lot of blind animals out there that have burned their retinas <laughs> because they were looking at the sun. I mean, we're kind of stupid. <laughs> you know, if a solar eclipse <laughs> oh happens, God, there's That's nobody the around line. to see it, this is still a solar eclipse. Oh my God. It's amazing God. though, because the moon is exactly the right size and in exactly the right place in the sky so that it can block out the sun so that people on the earth can see the moon blocking out the sun and so that it has like a ring around it's like it's like amazingly it's incredible right it's an incredible thing like it seems almost divine and right now i'm having an eclipse of the camera I'm having a total eclipse of the camera. <laughs> total eclipse of the camera. <laughs> Sorry, oh, that's man. okay. That's all right. They don't know. I mean, how they? Wh why would somebody be doing stand-up uh. comedy in the middle of a solar yeah. eclipse, right? I mean, talk about trying to find your light. <laughs> that's just—it's impossible. That would be an interesting thing to be on a movie set during an eclipse, and they'd be like, "Hey, we're losing our light." Oh wait, we got it back again. I heard that they there was a war once. I don't know where this was, but there was a battle. And they were all on the battlefield. They were like cutting each other's heads off and stabbing each other with their swords. And then all of a sudden, there was a total solar <laughs> eclipse. And they were like, what? And it got dark. And what they thought was the gods were sending them a message to stop fighting. And they all just laid down their swords, got into a big group hug. The lights came back up again and all was well. Now, 
we know what this is. We know that the moon is passing in front of the sun. I mean, it's kind of weird that the moon is exactly the right size. Don't look exactly at it. Exactly in the right place in the <laughs> in the space continuum. I don't know what that is. I wonder what the flat earthers would say about that. Are there flat mooners? Are there flat sunners? <laughs> <laughs> there are people that believe that the moon is flat because that, that would actually be that would probably be actually easier to comprehend because we only see one side of the moon and it doesn't change because there's the dark side of the moon and then there's the light side of the moon and so we only see that and so it, would, it looks the same every time so naturally you might think it's just flat yeah. or the sun yeah, those people they're dumb. can't even look at it like Let's face crap. it, everybody's looked at the sun once once in their life. Uh, thank you everybody for having me here today. Invisible man. I'm Joel Marshall, and this has been so Stand fun. Up in the Solar Eclipse. Woo! Yeah. I think I was Dude, invisible. you have to do, you got to yeah. do more of that, dude. Just stand up in the wild. Like, I, even at, like... <clears throat> That's so funny. The fact that like people were just like, <laughs> it's always what happens. I've done it now at Trader Joe's, uh, the 99 cent store. I did it at the, uh, at Quentin Tarantino's movie theater on Beverly. I did it in front of the car oh wash God. and I'm telling you, it's usually the, Oh, I also did it in the SAG strike line and it's even oh there. It's so funny. It was all actors, all actors. And I thought they'd know what I was doing, you know? No, they just, it was yeah. like, I was invisible. Oh, I you froze for a second. That's so funny, bro. <laughs> uh, I love geez. this. I love how the people were taking pictures behind you too. Like you're not even there. <laughs> I <laughs> think I like might moving have been in. invisible. <laughs> Flat Mooners is a really good, uh, a really Flat good mooners. joke too. That's a very funny concept. That was good. Uh, Do you think Jimmy, flat Earth? Like they they believe the Earth is flat, but they're like, no, no, Moon's definitely round. <laughs> no, right, exactly. What is the, what is their stance on that? I don't even know. No, Jupiter yeah. Jupiter's got rings, but we're flat down here. You know, we're good. <laughs> we're we're, yeah, we're so flat funny. down here. <laughs> uh, Greg Orlis says the battle battle of the eclipse or battle of Hellas was fought in the sixth century BC. Oh yeah, see that was a real battle, and that's where the eclipse wow, occurred. Really? We've got more on that Gre breaking news. Yeah, Greg, Greg, with the Greg facts, is good. Baby. Facts. The globe illustration wow. looks beautiful. Why? Thank you. See, there's the non-flat earth. I love it. Jenny yeah. says she looked up at the eclipse just like Trump. <laughs> now I have a little sunshine everywhere I look. I hope that you did <laughs> not burn your retina. I hope that that did not happen. <laughs> oh my God. I totally, uh, I, I, I even... never looked up. I never looked up. And you know what? It didn't even, it was a little brown out. It felt like it was brown. But then when I look at I'm the video, at it. it looks like a beautiful blue day. Yeah, I was inside. I didn't even go. You didn't even go? <laughs> No, I don't want to like, <sighs> look, my mom, my mom uh, has really bad eyes, right? Yeah. She's like, she's legally blind, but she's not like, she's, uh -huh. she's like, sees with like a magnet, like she could see you up close and stuff. Yeah. And she reads with like a magnifying glass. But she says that years ago when she was a little girl, she said she looked up an eclipse and they said that might have been why her, like she has this like yeah. SARS, -Gar it's called SARS guard disease, mm -hmm. where it's something with her retinas. But th they said like, it might have been the eclipse too. You never know. It might have sparked it. Wow. So like, wow. Yeah. So you're like f just freaked out by that. Well, well, my girlfriend kept her kid home from. Th they sent the kid. Uh, the kid's eleven. Yeah. Um, my girlfriend, which is going to be my 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 I son. Say I just got yeah, your girlfriend my or, or your fiance. My fiance now, baby. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. yeah. So my 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 fiance son. Uh, they sent him a letter like the day before. It was like. Hey, we know the eclipse is tomorrow, but we don't have any safety precautions for your kids. So um, oh. if you want to buy glasses or whatever, but we can't tell them to not look up. Oh. <laughs> so she was like, so she was like, well, screw that. I'm not bringing them to school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, they can't just get a couple of glasses. Come on now. I know. Everybody had them yesterday. I don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> Wildlife yeah. therapy time. Congratulations, Mike from Claster Fan. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Ooh, Pam hippo. says, hippo. you know, um, uh, Howard, tip me off to your engagement, by the way. 
Oh, thanks, Howard. He's, he's out telling everybody. He's telling everybody your secrets. Howard's the best. Yeah, he's my is comedy the best. dad. He is. Here's your comedy dad. Love that. My proud comedy dad. <laughs> Pam says, okay, is the sun supposed to be brighter during the eclipse? I know. It seemed like it's brighter. It seemed like it's brighter. <laughs> Classic man thinks this <laughs> music a, sounds I like think it's just your eyes burning, Pam. Yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> maybe that's it. All right, we got to get into the hippos. What, your hippos are incredible, by the way. Um, the word hippopotamus means, uh, it comes from the Greek word meaning river horse. I didn't even know they had hippos in Greece. Greasy hippos? I don't know. I'm not sure. Greasy not sure. hippos. Those greasy hippos. Look at that. Wow. You know, they actually do hippos to secrete a kind of a grease. Did you know that? I I, I read that on your facts. Yeah, it says sometimes it looks like they're they're sweating blood. Yeah, some like people red. think they sweat blood, but it's actually like a something that they do. God knows why. I can't find it, but you know. Yeah. Something they do. Something they do. Um there's, yeah, here it is. It's because it's an oily red sweat-like substance that moistens their skin, repels water, and protects them from the sun and germs. So that's the grease okay. connection there. Now, the thing yeah. I don't understand is um, I didn't know hippos were like superheroes. They're like the most incredible animals. They can run 22 miles per hour. They can swim five miles an hour. They are the third largest land animal do you know what the other ones are? Uh, it's got to be elephants, right? Elephants. And do you know what the other one is? The other bigger one? Uh, uh, giraffes? A giraffe's yeah, bigger? Yeah, that's, that's a good guess. Um, taller? Uh -huh. I thought about giraffes, yeah. too, but they're taller. I think when they... Look at that guy! Look at that guy on the back of him. Look at that. <laughs> Just hanging cool. out. I love that. Greg Wordle is correct. They are called a bloat of hippos. A bunch of Ooh. hippos all together. Or bloat. The bloat. Bloat. Hang out with your bloats. The bloats. Baby hippos engage in play fights with each other, which prepares them for when they must fend for themselves. But you know what? It ha they have almost no predators. Uh, the only predators they have are crocodiles, lions, and hyenas, but most of them can't swallow a whole hippo anyway, so it's just there's uh -huh. no way. And their mouths are two feet wide when closed, and when open wide, their mouths can stretch to four feet. Oh my God. Yeah. Jesus. But you can't have I, them as pets. I seen the one fact, it said baby hippos, when they're born, they're born underwater, and they can weigh between 50 and 100 pounds. Oh my God, that's incredible. Imagine giving birth to a 100 pound. Oh my God, how do they do it? How do they do it? Um, you know, People got excited about something they see or experience every single day. People, darkness. <laughs> yeah, I call it night. We didn't even get darkness and people were excited. We got nothing yeah. there with the eclipse, but just like this weird, you know what? I love, how, Re I love how Rex was like, you know what? Screw your hippos. I'm still talking about the eclipse. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's because I'm so far behind. It's totally, it's Pony's okay. fault. Pony's like way behind. <laughs> He's like, yeah, uh, these uh, predators, yeah, whatever, hippos, yeah, this eclipse is nuts. It's impossible for them to keep up with us, too, because they get further and further behind. Um, Greg Wardle says elephant and rhino. That's right. Elephant and there rhino are the bigger ones. Next to Trump. La I, I, probably if I say Trump, my my feed will get banned as well. I've noticed that yeah, lately. I, I had a... Um, I had a thing on TikTok where I was just talking about impeachment and how impeachment doesn't really do anything, but I wasn't saying awesome. impeach anybody or anything. And uh, it got like two hits or something. <laughs> like it seemed like it was throttle. Oh you look disturbed by, by it too. For a second there, you look disturbed. Yeah, well, you like <laughs> my, 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 my webcam keeps freezing on me. <laughs> of course it does when I run, run my eyes like. Eh, yeah. Eh. Jenny says they're considered one of the most dangerous animals in the world. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They, wow. They're, they're vicious. They, there are actually facts here about how many people die from hippos. 3,000, 500 to 3,000 people a year, human deaths from hippos. Jesus. But you know what? Slipping in the bathtub what a way always, to die always too. wins. Slipping, slipping in the bathtub wins every time. There was, a, there was a lot of stuff with like, um, did you hear about the cartel and stuff? How like uh, yeah. Pablo Escobar had, he had hippos come to, um, where's he from, Medellin? Uh, yeah. So he had hippos like, actually, he 
got them shipped to him so he could have them in his river. And then the hippos just started, you know, breeding and breeding and breeding. And there was just this crazy hippo population that nobody, like, wow. wanted. But they were just, like, killing people, too. Because <laughs> oh people God. would fall into the river or whatever. And, you know. Sounds like one of those horrible, just... horrible movies where they feed the dead bodies to the hippos. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we got some broken news now. <clears throat> broken news. There's our hippo facts over there. I'm not sure why that is. Let me just get that to the chat room here. You know, Boney, can you get the chat room up there? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get myself a modem. I'm going to get myself a modem. modem. Um, all right. So more than struck by lightning or shark attacks yeah hippos hippos okay broken news first is what greg wordala referred to haley's eclipse this is the um battle that happened there's an actual photograph from the battle uh it was wow. in the sixth year of this w war between the lydians and the medes they were engaged in an indecisive battle and then all of a sudden solar eclipse and wow. they, they made a truce. This is like a real thing. I thought maybe that somebody was making that up. But um, Yeah, the bat Battle of the Eclipse, yeah. The Battle of the Eclipse. Well, the, pic the picture looks like it was taken with a uh, Samsung BC, you know, before. <laughs> a Samsung <Christ>. BC. <laughs> I don't know. I think somebody chiseled it on a rock as it was going Take on. me back to the panda room. <laughs> yeah, get him back in there. Yeah. Um, the... The, oh, and also apparently somebody predicted that this was going to happen. So that made it extra godlike wow. when some yeah. religious guy predicted it. Peter Potamus. All right, we're still getting a hippopotamus. Peter Potamus, the only hippo cartoon character. Wow. Mr. Potamus. Well, uh, what? Okay. What was Peter's girlfriend's name? Hmm. Peter's girlfriend's name. Interesting. We don't know. Is that you? Alligator? Was it? Ali <laughs> Are we going to hear? No. Are we gonna, is this like not. a joke? It might be a joke. <laughs> um, this is one of the guys who was fighting in that battle. The artist rendition. I don't know. So the next oh, news wow. item is called Ice Flame. And I don't know if I believe this. You're going to have to tell me. There's mm -hmm. apparently some eternal flames. There's nine eternal flames on in the globe, somewhere in the world. These flames that just keep burning. Have you heard of that wow. before? I never heard no. of this before. So this guy... Fish like Mike, who we had him on the show a while back. He was holding a possum. We're talking about possums. It's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and now here he is with this eternal flame that he found. I don't have, I don't have a possum, but I got a oh, little, right. little, yeah. little hippo down here. I love it. So yeah, an no, eternal flame. So it's, it's just, it never stops whether water or anything hits it. Yeah. And so there it is in the ice. Let's see if we can play this thing. Check this out. This is an eternal flame. There's only nine eternal flames in the entire world, and this one's inside of a waterfall. Take a look. No way. Is that real? Greg Wordla? I don't know, man. Wow. It's weird because I would say I would say it's not true. Except that I, mean, I read it never, on, yeah. What? I don't know. Well, I was gonna say like you know how like volcanoes are always just the lava is like always oh, just hot. True. Maybe something is just feeding up that it's always on. I don't know. Interesting. That's weird. Paige says Patty Penelope. We're still trying to find out who Peter's girlfriend is. <laughs> See now I'm behind. I'm behind because I don't know what's happening <laughs> now. Oh, Peter Potamus. It's because of what Howard said, of course. That's the worst when the host oh. gets behind, because then it's like all, Peter Potamus. all downhill from there. Straw-headed bulbuls. You know what that is? Is that you? Strawy bubbles? No. They are uh, this bird. Okay, this bird. Yeah. This is some good news. So what happened was this bird is um, a very, very rare bird, but it now has, and it was starting to to die off. But in Singapore, oh, they are suddenly becoming plentiful, and they are called really? yes, and they are called the straw-headed bulbuls, and that's all mm -hmm. the facts I know about that. That is all I know. I don't know why they're called that. 
Maybe um, eternal flames. Kamala says eternal flames are cool. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Greg Wordle says the Centralia mine fire has been burning since 1962. Wow, that's interesting. Wow. That's crazy. Have you seen our new sponsor? I haven't, no. Got to see it. Got to see it. Here's their commercial. Have you been searching for some place where you can relieve the pressure and let it all go? <clears throat> Somewhere where you can just be yourself, free from all the constraints, where you no longer have to hold it in. Just let it all come out. Welcome to the Dutch Oven Inn, where folks from all over the world have been fully relaxing since 1836. Nestled in the warm heart of Amish country, we'd like to welcome you to a place of no judgment, just full acceptance. Our award-winning staff will make certain that you can really let your hair down and let it go. Our sparkling chefs will serve you magnificent meals of shredded cabbage and Atlantic brine, authentic Mexican refried beans, and bottomless bowls of hard-boiled eggs. Our tennis and yoga classes will set you free and then relax in our natural home. When you're finally ready to get under the covers, you'll discover the comfort and sustainability of natural gas heat. So come on by, get comfy, and get a whiff of the good life with us at the world-famous Dutch Oven Inn, where your release is our pleasure. Nose clips not included. Uh, yeah, so you didn't think we'd get a sponsor, did you? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> it's the best video on the internet. <laughs> I love that one. I love that. I just, you know, I can't, that, I've said this before on the show, but it came to me in a dream and I woke up uh -huh. just chortling, you know, just laughing away. <laughs> and my wife was like, are you okay? Are you crying? Like she, I woke her up because I was just over there giggling, you know? And it's because I had a dream about the Dutch oven in. And, uh, <laughs> and so we just like put it together like in a day or whatever. And I, I have never been editing something and just laughing while I was editing it, you know? Because I mean? <laughs> after a while you get sick of watching it. But this, I just, I don't know, man. I'm, th I'm a third grader for sure. For sure. Oh, that's so funny. It cracks me up. All right, so contest time. Whew, hopefully, Classer Fan has some contest questions. Let's see what happens here. Um, let's, uh, Boney, can you cue it up? All right, let's go. Let's see if Classer Fan has a question because he's good. He's good that way. I don't know what's happening over here. Our, our um, chat room is not coming in. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see. Hundreds of eternal flames. Even though there are hundreds of natural eternal flames around the world, the one in Shale Creek Preserve is definitely one of a kind. So this is like a real, oh. honest-to-God thing. How weird. So weird. Wow. I like it. All right, let's see. Um, hand orange covering eyes. I think that was during the the uh, Dutch Oven Inn commercial. I'm not sure. I don't know if we lost <laughs> Claster Fan. I've got some questions here this is a slideshow that i've been wanting to do for a while this is from jeff loman yeah. super jeff loman it's called you are here homer has been to every con continent you know he has this homer simpsons doll and homer has been to every continent there is uh, including uh -huh. antarctica and so he's got some pictures of him around the world and you're supposed to guess where he is photographed oh wait before we get to that, Claster Fan has a question. Which of the following films is not written by Joe Esterhaus? <laughs> We're just totally shifting gears real quick. <laughs> Which one was not written by Joe Esterhaus? I love the questions he comes up with. Um, I'm going to go C. You're going to go C? Long Kiss, kiss Goodnight. Joe yeah. Esterhaus. I know he did Basic Instinct. And I... <sighs> Jade, I'm thinking he probably did too. Long Kiss Goodnight. Hmm, 
I think you're right. Sliver. The other the other three are so similar. Yeah. Thanks, Claster fan, for that. Todd Lee says Dutch oven in in is it next to, next to Lazy Sharks, Sharks Resort? <laughs> What's the shark? This is shark. Yeah. Lazy farts, I think, is what he meant. I'm, I'm guessing. Let's they have a really that. good lazy river, but you don't want to go in there. <laughs> it's like a jacuzzi. <laughs> Long kiss, good night. Uh, yeah, it was written by Shane Black. I know. That's the thing. Is I kind of knew that. So uh, oh, So I was right. Yeah. Oh, long kiss goodbye. Hmm. I see. Maybe. So let's see what the answer is, Claster fan. We're all going with uh, long kiss goodnight. Long kiss goodnight. Uh, let's see how long it takes for Claster fan to come through. Um, let's see what Howard says. Adam Liebline did not get me an audition for that. <laughs> I know. I was really disappointed in that, too. I didn't get an audition for that. That's weird. I was on a Vails. That's weird. Uh, I My self-tape was unbelievable. You could smell it. You could smell it. Around it. <laughs> you could smell it. <laughs> Your first ever scratch and sniff uh, self-tape. <laughs> yeah. Todd says, shart? Shart is a fart when a little something comes out. Oh, no. It's really going Thanks, down Todd. now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Todd, for that. I guess we'll never hear the answer because I don't see a classroom fan on here. Famous line in Along Came Polly. Oh, shart. Yeah, oh, wow. Right. See, movie trivia. Movie trivia. Yeah. All right. Until we get the answer from classroom fan, we're going to go back to the special Jeff Lohman contest. So you just figure out where Homer is. That's what happens here. Okay, great. Every every uh, week, this old man comes out and tells people to get off his lawn. In what country is Homer in? Oh, it's Italy. What, yeah, um, but it's actually a country within a country, isn't it? Do you think? Uh, oh, so like Rome? Rome, Italy? Uh, close. Close. Wait, Vatican. Rome's not a country. Oh, the Vatican? Vatican Rome City. City. You're right, Vatican City. <laughs> you know. You know. You're from Jersey. You know yeah. this stuff. Wait, is Vatican City considered a country? It's considered, I think, a separate from Italy, maybe. It's a really? City. I it's considered as No, maybe separate from... You know, it's like an embassy, I think, almost. I don't know. Somebody tell me about that. Who knows? I'm totally, like, making that up. Um, wow. But you got it. You got it right. Uh, Todd Lee got it right. Vatican City. He really got what I was looking for, Vatican City. But, you know, it is kind of in the middle of Rome, right? Oh, uh, Greg says, yes, it is a country. So I think no that the way. Hummingbirds, hummingbirds win that one, then. Give it to the hummingbirds, then. I'll give, give it to them. To I that. didn't know that. That's a fun fact. It was kind of a fun fact. I think, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm Vatican Jersey City. Italian. I'm not real Italian. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not from Italy. I'm from... <laughs> Okay, here's one. It's in German. Ich bin ein Puppe, which means I am a puppet. God, uh, Moscow. Oh no, that's Russia. <laughs> Never mind. Kamala says uh, Joe Klaster fan wrote the answer a while Berlin. ago. Berlin. Oh, Berlin. Berlin. Anybody else? Berlin. Berlin. I gotta Berlin? find the answer from Klaster fan. Oh, the answer is C. Long kiss, good night. Nice. I think we all we got, got it, that baby. One. We all got that one. Everybody gets a point on that one. Again, this contest is totally screwed up, but that's the way I like it, I guess. I guess it's the way God meant it to be. It's Berlin, I got it right. You yes. got it, you totally got it right. Congratulations, congratulations. Mm -hmm. um, so you get a point. And Kamala got it as well, but you know, tie goes to the runner, as they say. Now there's all this talk about the Vatican. <laughs> oh shit, I blew that one. That one's Angel Falls. That's a gimme. Uh, I was going to say Angel Falls. We, we actually took that one. Camel and I took that when we were in uh, Venezuela. Oh, really? We took you Homer with us, yeah. Oh, uh, wow. That's awesome. So that was cool. That was cool. Ha-ha. Crap. You missed that one. Are you ready for another question? Yeah, let's do. Let's confuse matters <laughs> and have another <laughs> question, Claster fan. And then we'll have, have to close two. it out. Two, two quizzes is going a at fun, once. It's a fun concept. It's two game shows in one. <laughs> right. And your brain has to switch back and forth, back and forth. Images, yeah. words. Images, words. Yeah. Um, are you ready for the next question? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Kamala says Venezuela because she was there to take the picture. That is Angel Falls, the um, tallest falls in the world, by the way. Wow, that's out. beautiful. I'm totally switching back and forth. Let's face it. Let's do another one while we wait for Claster Fan. 
Um, how about this one? Homer hanging out with a new friend he met at a highway rest stop. Name this American oh, state. This is a state this time. I don't rec- I don't recommend meeting people at highway rest stops, but <laughs> what do you mean uh, that guy Homer, looks obviously. totally fine? I mean, his uh, <laughs> he looks fine. <laughs> um, Doesn't have a shirt on. Has a lot of tattoos. Well, but, yeah. there's definitely an ocean. Yeah. So ocean. the America, I would say California. You would say California. Okay. The answer is anybody in the chat room? The chat room is like, this thing is so confusing. I have no idea. Um, and the answer is, I'm just stalling here. Paige says three. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> we got that other quiz going on. Uh, it's Hawaii. Hawaii. Yay. Oh, okay. Yay, Hawaii. All right. Okay. I got to say, that was a trick question. There's no highway rest stops in Hawaii. No, you're right. They don't have, a, they don't have highways. They don't have highways. Hey, I, that okay wait claustrophobic let's get back to the claustrophobic thing <laughs> okay. name the body of water uh seinfeld <laughs> yeah how many times did jerry seinfeld host snl oh. a1 one. b2 it's almost like it shouldn't even have letters a1 through four but uh you know it adds an extra complexity which is what we need in this contest <laughs> thank you claustrophan um so let's see what people are saying page says i think it's three fun. times Greg Wordleff says California, which was a good guess. Todd said Hawaii. <laughs> Todd gets it. Todd gets it. Hummingbirds, three. Perk, two. It's very complicated. D, she's saying four times. How did Homer get a Hummer? <laughs> I don't know. Oops, make that C. Now she's saying three. She's covering every possibility. This is the Looks best. Like <laughs> Dead Sea. Okay, what is your final answer, Perk? Since they've covered every single one. Um, on the Seinfeld thing, I yeah. think it's A. Seinfeld. I think it's number. I think one. I think it's only one time. One time. Wow. <sighs> wow. I'm gonna go with one as well, but I don't. My vote doesn't really count um, because I think I think you're probably right. I think knowing Seinfeld, he's like one's enough. That's yeah. enough for anybody. Yeah. I would like. like to why see. are we writing? Why is it only a week? <laughs> What's the deal with Paige this? Page covered every single one. Why is Homer on a highway? <laughs> okay, one more, one more. Yeah, oh, oh, wow. Todd got the one after seeing it for like a second, and that is this one, uh, which is the Dead Sea. So Todd gets that, but we don't, I didn't really ask Perk this one, but that was the Dead okay. Sea. Um, all right, so this is the, you either tie it up or you lose, Okay. Okay. So better make sure you're He only hosted once. One. I got it. Oh, you got it? Wow. He only hosted once. That was good. I knew that. I, I'd say that's a tie then. What do you say, Boney? Boney says, yep. Well, you know, that was a good call. That was a really good call. I'm sure they asked him yeah. multiple times. Or maybe they didn't. Maybe they're like, screw that guy. Yeah. You don't want him on here anymore. I'll have to see that episode. All right, it's time for the dance break. Paige says the one she didn't pick. What I didn't pick. <laughs> Two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought she picked every single one. All right. So here we go. Dance break time. I got a couple of Eclipse songs, like more than one. I want you to just sample them, and then we're going to end the show. Thanks so much for being on the show. Mike Perkins. Oh, thank you, man. A pleasure as always. Um, always right, a fun time. Let's get this thing going. Klaus Nomi. This guy is so cool. 1981. Wow. Wait, we gotta let him get really. Gets really high. I don't mean on drugs. Favorite. Last name. 
Yeah, it's big, big time. He's got an amazing range. Probably a What kind of microphone is that? I don't know, but I gotta get one. Is this guy, was this guy like a big new wave guy or like a punk guy or what? Or his own genre? We're gonna end the show on this one. Thanks everybody for being here. Thank you, Paige, for being here. Thanks for the uh, the tip off, the tip on the Eclipse song. And Trish King, where's Klaus now? It's a good question. That's your assignment. Oh, and he's, on Friday, he's one of the never-ending flames. That uh, yeah, he is. He's just he's just. Oh, so, a waterfall and he's like, oh, it's hot. <laughs> on uh, Friday, I don't think I told you that. Oh, I told you this, Mike. We're going to have a master clown on. David Bridell yeah. is going to be the guest. Clowning is the thing these days. So we're going to find out about it. And uh, thanks everybody for being here. Thanks again. Where's Klaus now? Yeah.